You know how it is. Every single day, there's a new sexy app being released, and it's just pulling you in, like, mmm. And staying up to date with the latest tools can be downright exhausting. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. And not to worry though, after a decade in the field, I'm here to share with you my end-to-end -to -end toolkit for everything UX and UI related. <laughs> Now, I promise you every single tool that I'm about to share with you is one that I have personally used in the past on a real project. So buckle up and let's get into it. We're going to cover a wide range of tools I use daily, from research, UI design, project management, data analytics, all the way through to design systems. So let's go ahead and start with research. Now, Google Sheets, yes, it may not be the most exciting tool out there, but let me tell you this, it's not just for the finance wizards. Google Sheets is invaluable for tracking all your user interview insights, packed with full of functionality that gives you better control over your data, like the ability to freeze a frame, making it easier for you to navigate through large data sets. Now, when it comes to user interviews, my go-to platform is Zoom, primarily for its high quality recording capabilities. Now, once I've got all my insights documented in Google Sheets, I like to turn to FigJam for synthesizing the research. Its seamless integration with Figma makes it a clear winner providing a unified design environment for myself. Now, speaking of FigJam, there's a handy plugin that lets you transfer all your insights from Google Sheets into FigJam as posted notes, all within seconds. Oh, and by the way, if you're looking to level up your UX design skills or game or career with solid user research and strategy skills, don't miss out on my practical user research and strategy masterclass. Link is in the description and I've also attached a juicy 5% discount code. Now moving on to UI design phase. I genuinely prefer using Whimsical for wireframes. But why? Well, the team behind Whimsical have really made wireframing simple. Shortcuts are fast, options are intentionally limited so you don't overdo your wireframes. Adding elements feels quick and snappy and also the overall wireframe doesn't feel too polished, which is how wireframes should actually feel. For all these reasons, I end up wireframing so much quicker in Whimsical rather than Figma. But Figma does have its moments. For example, if I'm polishing up a featured project that needs a little extra polish, I might spruce up the wireframes in Figma to make them more presentable in the case study. <laughs> I'm so happy. When it comes to sitemaps and user flows, FigJam is my go-to tool. Now you might be wondering, why not Whimsical then? Well, I always like to try minimize the number of tools I use unless there's a significant advantage in using something else. And in this case, FigJam does everything that Whimsical can do for sitemaps and user flows. Now, when I reach the high fidelity UI design phase, Figma is my first choice. And it's a no brainer, really. Just take a look at my channel. Now, I haven't really delved into AI-powered UI design tools just yet, but I believe they're worth mentioning as they could become a major player or play a major role in the future. For the mass market, the two AI-powered design tools or apps that I think have a lot of potential are UIZard and Galileo AI, which are both working on a concept of text to design. However, a tool like Genius by Diagram.com team might be more appealing to more seasoned designers because it seems to appear that it's more of an extension of Figma, which means we still have full control, but with the added benefit of AI. Now, once I'm ready to prototype and test my high fidelity designs, I rely on Figma's native prototyping capabilities for most projects. It generally covers most scenarios for web and mobile applications. However, for projects that need really advanced prototyping capabilities, for example, emulating the real iPhone camera, or even emulating a dynamic experience where we have dynamic text uh, pop through depending on what values we put into an input field. Now, Protopie would be my pick then. 
And when it comes to user testing, I'm pretty happy using guided calls in Zoom and really just documenting my insights in Google Sheets. For more tailored and specific needs, Maze.co is a great platform that provides structured and scalable solutions for testing designs with real users. The platform allows me to sync up my Figma designs directly into the workflow, allowing me to quickly set up tests for signup flows, first impression tests, and a hundred more. Now, when it comes to surveys and like gathering user feedback, I recommend Typeform. Overall, it is a very well-designed, comprehensive and detailed product for setting up surveys. There are a ton of pre-made templates that you could just start with right away. And I can also create dynamic sequences and the experience filling out a survey feels quite nice if you ask me. Its interactive interface feels more premium and offers a better experience for the user as well. But if I'm looking for something really quick and simple and also free, Google Forms is my best bet. Now, some other tools that are great for gathering user feedback that I've personally used before is Hotjar for visual analytics of how users interact with a product, Dovetail for democratizing research in larger organizations. They also recently integrated with Zoom, which allows you to automatically transcribe your videos and tag up the insights within their platform pretty seamlessly. And last but not least is Optimal Workshop, which is a very comprehensive all-in-one tool that allows you to gather insights from your users. Now, in terms of design management and design handover, Zeppelin is a star player. With its Figma integration, it allows you to automatically generate style guides, and it also has a very detailed handoff experience. If you find managing a project within Figma a little chaotic, I see Zeppelin acts as a third-party tool that adds an extra layer on top of Figma. This means you have a single source of truth for where all the latest designs are without having to worry about people coming into your file. Now for task management and planning, I currently use ClickUp for my team and it's been great. Since migrating over to ClickUp recently, I've been pretty happy with it all. I love being able to view everything from a bird's eye view. Their inbuilt Notion-like documentation feature has reduced the amount of times I've had to switch between different apps. And the overall experience has been very positive on my end. Now, I have also used Trello, Asana, and Rike in the past, but I think ClickUp is my favorite right now. In the realm of data analytics, Google Analytics excels with its free membership. It's the most popular analytics tool to track real-time data on your website. Now, the key word here is website, and most companies use this as a baseline. Learning how to navigate and use data to back your design decisions is a must for all UX and UI designers. A great place to start is taking a look at where traffic comes from to your website under the acquisition tab. Also, take a look at which pages gain the most traffic under the engagement tab. This allows you to identify the biggest opportunities for your website. And finally, tracking events to understand how well your website is performing in terms of conversions. Now, if I'm looking for real-time event tracking for web and mobile applications, so not websites, applications, I prefer Mixpanel and Amplitude. These two tools are a little bit more advanced than Google Analytics, but it gives you a lot more control over how you can segment your funnels, your audiences, and their behaviors. Now, generally these data analytics tools are implemented by your client or the startup that you're working for, so you don't really need to handle that part. Now, lastly, the design systems. I love using Token Studio plugin for Figma because its ability to manage design tokens fairly easily for larger projects. And for creating and sharing interactive living design systems that act as a single source of truth for both design and development teams, I have used Storybook. It was a great way to combine all the components alongside the code and also the documentation so anyone from the product team can start building right away. And there you have it a roundup of the perfect tool stack for all UX and UI designers. Now remember, each with their own unique advantages that set them apart from the rest. But do remember, the right tool can streamline your design process, but it's also important to know that there is a time and place for different tools, depending at what stage of the business you're at. 
So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep creating. If you wanna learn more, definitely check out this video. And if you like this video, make sure to gently smash that like button, subscribe for the Die Hard fans, and I will see you in another video very soon. Woo.